that's a nice light if I do say so myself. Hi everybody. Today we have a light that I'm testing to see if the ballast is good in it. And it's not. It's no good. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not going to work. But we have a new one. Um, this light uses then the T12. They're fluorescent lights. And we have to change out the ballast. It's a new light with a bad ballast. I always check them first. A new light and a bad ballast in. Yeah, so not change it out. Uh, so I'll show you a little bit about changing a ballast out. It has different wires, different wires. That one up there, if you can see, it has yellow wires, red wires, blue wires, two red wires, two blue wires, two yellow wires, a black and a white. So it's got all those wires and the new bells doesn't come with all of them wires. So I'll show you how I hook it up because it has a little directions right there of how to hook it up on the bells itself. So it's pretty easy to do. You just cut the wires, uh, wire nut them together that in the appropriate fashion as directed and hopefully the light's gonna turn on. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Well, the new one has a red wire, two blue wires coming from it. And then also has your power wires for it to get power. You black and your white. Now, it only has three wires. One of your blue wires will connect to the double blue wire going over to this light over here. The other blue wire will connect to the two red wires. You take the red wire and you connect it to both of your yellow wires. Red to both of your yellow wires, which will run both of those lights there because they're connected. You can see that right there. There's a wire going from that tomb stump to that one. You have two yellow wires coming off of that. That's where your red wire runs into. And over on this side, back out a little bit, you have your two blue wires. Two blue wires coming from your ballast there. And it comes over, one gets hooked up to both the blue, the other blue wire gets hooked up to both of the red wires. Because the old ballast, this is the old one, it had the two yellow wires to go over to one side of your lights and it had two red wires to go to the side over here and then the two blue wires to go over to the other side it had all the wires there and then it had your power wires so this had so many more wires and the other one just doesn't so don't get discouraged that, oh, that doesn't have enough wires. It does. It has enough wires. It's just hooked up differently. Just got to make sure that it's the right voltage and it runs with whatever light because 
this says, let me get in there for you. This is the one that was in there. And if you read on it, it'll tell you that it's for the T8 bulbs. Okay? It's used with the T8 bulbs, not the T12 bulbs. You gotta find out the difference. So we got that new ballast put in and we got it set up there. Let's take a look and see if it oh yeah. Just make sure you get the ballast that uses your T8 bulbs or your T12 bulbs, depending on what bulb you have. Uh, it's probably written right on the bulb if it's a T8, T12. So just get the replacement uh, ballast in it instead of buying a whole new light fixture. Sometimes the li new light fixture is cheaper than uh, what you already have or getting a ballast for the light that you have. But if you like the light you have and it's not working anymore, it's try new light bulbs first. And if that's not doing it, then it's change the ballast out. So nice and quiet and works great. I'm just gonna mount it. I'll take a picture of it. Let you see how it how it looks. Short little tip for you. Replacing your register vents. You know these things. Yeah. The holes don't line up sometimes. Yeah. Well, there's a good way around that. On the one side right over here, you can see that the hole is... You can see the hole where the screw has to go. this side all around this side you can't so when you're putting up your register vent you put the screw that you cannot see put it in there and start the screw just a little bit then on the other side where you can see the hole you put your screw in it in the vent and then you put it into the hole and you start it a little bit and then push your vent up flush and put in your screws. That way you're not fiddling around and drilling a new hole and it's installed properly. Okay? Have a great day. Super tip. That's a nice light if I do say so myself. Now hooking up these lights or taking down your light, installing a different ballast, you want to install and put in the ballast or take down your light and do it as the manufacturer suggests how you do it. If you don't have the sheet on the light that you do have, go online and find out your light and then find the instructions on how it gets hooked up. Do it properly, correctly. Don't forget, all dark, no power going to the light. Make sure you have no power from your breaker box. Make sure your breaker is off to your switch. Then you make sure your switch is off no power going to it at all you need extra lights use a flashlight use a drop light run an extension cord with a lamp anything you need to do do not have any power going to the section that you are replacing a lamp or a light fixture with be safe install it the way the manufacturer tells you to install it 
Okay? Everybody have a good time. Good day. Like and subscribe.